Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. This is everyday's video, the beer's courtesy of Ty. Thanks so much, Ty, I really appreciate it. So this is Peacemaker IPA. It's from South County Brewing Company. Uh, where is it? Oh, 6.8% ABV. I was gonna say, I just saw that. Uh, it doesn't look like they list the hop or hops in it, so if I do find that after the review, I'll put in the description box below if you're interested. Um, great can art, just right off the bat. Love that can art. That's just, it's just, it's like beautiful. And then just slightly with the skull, like, like just like, ed I don't want to say edgy, but kind of like edgy enough where it's not just a beautiful landscape. I don't know, I just really like it. Just realized I should have waited to top of the review to cut my fingernails. That's okay. Let's get into it. Got my breweries in Pennsylvania beer glass. Seemed appropriate, although they're telling me I should have used a different, I forget the name of those, that kind of glass, but it's all good. Pennsylvania Brewery, I'm using a Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Brewery glass. What do you want from me? I'm giving you my best. I'm also trying to kill some time because there's a lot ahead on this, um, which is good. Cause you know what, lately I feel like I haven't been pouring very aggressively and getting a nice head. So I'm actually kind of happy about that. Uh, it has somewhere between yellow and orange for me, maybe a little closer to orange. Definitely beyond unfiltered into the hazy realm. Um, let's see, I mean, it's, we got like two and a half fingers uh, at this point, so there's probably more before because it is going down. I'm gonna say bone white. Uh, small bubbles, not like they're relatively compact, but they're not the most compact uh, I've seen. Uh, at the top, a little sudsy, soapy looking. Definitely looks like a New England style IPA. Let's get into the aroma. Some nice peach and orange. There's not fruit, but there's something else familiar. Man, that peach, now I'm getting like big peach rings. So like confectionery peach. Oh my goodness, that smells good. You know what? There's a little bit of a weedy dankness. That's the thing that wasn't fruit. A little bit of like pink lemonade, citric acid, like Smarties. Or Flintstone vitamins. You know, I've definitely heard people, and I've said that before, and I've definitely heard other people say that as well. But there's some other like real fruit notes. It's very orangey, but there's like a little kiss of grapefruit tied to it. That smells fantastic. It's going to taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Ty. Okay. That pink lemonade at times kind of, it like goes back and forth. Is it that pink lemonade or a little bit of like real lemonade? So I wasn't getting actual lemon in it, but a little bit in the taste. It's not full on white wine. I'll put it this way. I wouldn't be surprised if there's Nelson in this, but I also um, am not like super, like 100% confident to be like, I bet when I look this up, if they list the hops somewhere, it has Nelson, but I wouldn't be surprised. Same with Citra, because of that peach thing and the orange thing. Usually I get mango too with it. I'm not getting it here. Um, there's a cool, the way the sweetness hits is cool. It's a little different. Like you get some nice, like, fr like juicy, fruity elements. And it's not quite like confectionery sugar, but it, just the way the sweetness hits... I haven't said, I haven't done this in a while. Like, actually, I don't remember the last time I did this. Beer like this, kind of like three way or like three points to look at. Uh, does it taste good? Yeah. Does it drink like a New England style IPA? Yeah. The third one, which is always the coolest to get if it happens, is, is, is uh, does it drink different? This is not quite paint by the numbers. And I mean that in a really good way because especially for me it's the it's how that sweetness hits a little different so it's kind of cool because it it hits a lot of things you want I, I know paint by numbers makes it sound like generic or something and like there's nothing wrong with being to style right 
this is to style, but the way the sweetness hits is a little different. I just, I don't know, I really appreciate that. And some of that sweetness is, is wrapped up. Somewhere between just like generic melon and guava. Now that, I'm almost positive, is not a tasting note I've ever given to another beer before. Speaking of melon, almost a little bit like watermelon, but like the watermelon gum kind of thing. It's not that sweet though. Like it like doesn't hit that intense. This is fun and delicious. This is a really good beer. South County. South County. Got the canar and the beer to match. Okay. Ty, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. This beer's really good. And again, it's like a little different. And I like that. But like not so different where it's like, eh. Like I think people who just like New England style IPAs would totally groove on this. Good level of bitterness, but not overly bitter either. Drinks a little bit bigger that way. Good mouthfeel. Uh, also did put that out there. I don't think I said that. Um... Yeah, this is fun and delicious, so I really appreciate it. If you guys had this beer before, and again, if I can find the hops or anything, or hop, I'll put it in the description box below, so feel free to scroll down and check that out. Uh, once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped to know hype beer reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.